Welcome back to pattern program series in Python. In this video, I will discuss how to display this particular pattern in Python. This is the third pattern program. The link for other pattern programs is given in the description below. Do follow that link to go through each and every pattern programs in Python. Before we draw any pattern, uh, it may be in Python or any other programming language. First, we need to understand the logic to draw that particular pattern. First, I will represent this uh, pattern in the form of rows and columns. There are five rows are there and uh, five columns we have. Uh, I will take one loop to iterate over these uh, rows and one uh, loop to iterate over these columns. I will be the looping variable for the rows and J will be the looping variable for columns in this case. Now we need to understand what are the possible values of i and j so that we can print this particular star pattern. The possible values of i is which will start from 1 to 5 in this case. So the outer loop will look something like this. For i is equal to 1 to 5 in this case. Now the inner loop that is the loop which will handle these columns will also start from 1 till 5. So we can write uh, the j is equal to 1 to 5. But the question is for what value of j uh, or you can say that for what value of i and j we should print this particular pattern or a star here. Now if you look at the first uh, row when the value of i is equal to 1 we need to print only at the fifth place that is when the value of j is equal to 5 we need to print the star here. In the second row when the value of i is equal to 2 we need to print the star at fourth place and fifth place only. Similarly, when we have the value of i is equal to 5, we need to print at first place, second place, third place, fourth place and fifth place in this case. So if you notice here, in the first row, we need to draw four blank spaces and then we need to draw star here. So that can be written something like this. We need to draw this particular blank if the value of j is less than or equal to 5 minus i. What is i here in the first iteration? The first iteration, the i value is equal to 1. So 5 minus 1 is equal to 4. If the value of j is less than or equal to 4, that is uh, j is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, we need to draw, you can say that space here. Similarly, uh, in the second case, if the value of i is equal to 2, it will become 5 minus 2, that is 3. When j is equal to 1, 2, 3, we need to draw space here. In all other cases, what I supposed to draw? Star in this case. So this is the programming construct or the logic to draw this particular star pattern in this case. Now we will try to convert this logic into a program. You can see that the outer loop will start from 1 to 5. So we will write the for i in range of 1 comma 6 here because uh, the range function will take uh, 1 less than the second number that is uh, 1 less than 6 is 5 so it will go up to 5 here. The inner loop will start again at uh, uh, you can say that j in range of 1 comma 6 again because it has to go from 1 to 5 again. But within this uh, we need to add uh, one condition uh, when to print star and when to print uh, uh, the spaces here. So I will add if statement here. If uh, if the value of j is uh, you can say that less than or equivalent to uh, 5 minus i. What should happen in this case is I should print we can say that one space here. I should not add end so I should not add a new line here actually. So I will add one uh, end is equal to space that is the attribute uh, I will add here. In all other cases, uh, if uh, this condition is uh, not uh, true, what I supposed to do is I supposed to print star in this case. Again, I should not add a new line here. So I will add an attribute end is equal to space here. Now this particular inner loop is over. The meaning is we have done with uh, one row. Uh, after every row, we need to add one new line here. So that is the reason I will take one print statement here. So what it does is uh, it will add one new line character after every row in this case. So the outer loop will go from 1 to 6. The inner loop will also go from 1 to 6. But uh, if the value of j is less than or equivalent to 5 minus i, the space will be printed. 
if this condition is not true the star will be printed here now we will check whether the program is working fine or not uh, if you look at the uh, pattern whatever we got the program is working perfectly fine in this case now uh, if you want to read the number of rows and columns uh, dynamically that is also possible first what we do here is uh, we will take one n is equal to int of uh, you can say that input and then uh, we will ask user to enter the number of uh, rows and uh, you can say that columns okay so the user will enter the number of rows and columns in this case that will be stored into n here now the remaining program will remain the same there is no question the only thing is uh, this one uh, if he has entered 5 uh, it has to become uh, 6 here that is n plus 1 we need to write here similarly here also we need to write n plus 1 and if he has entered 5 it has to be 5 only so we have to write uh, n in this case so now we will try to run this program let us assume that the user has entered 5 now the uh, output will remain same here there is no question I hope you understood why I have taken plus 1 here the range function will take 1 less than the second number because of that if I write just n here uh, it will become n minus 1 so that is not the case so that is the reason I have taken n plus 1 here so this is how uh, you can convert uh, the logic into program to display this particular star pattern I hope the concept is clear if you like the video do like and share with your friends press the subscribe button for more videos press the bell icon for regular updates thank you for watching